Hey, welcome back. Today I'm building this thing, which is an oscilloscope out of a CRT television. I'm going to show you the steps I took to build it and talk a little bit about what it's used for. All right, let's get building. Okay, I have no idea what's going on. It's between these two sizes, but a quarter inch doesn't fit, and I don't think 7 64ths exists. Ugh. This is where things kind of get dangerous, so if you don't know what you're doing, please don't do this. What you see here is me discharging the flyback transformer. I'm using a screwdriver and some wire, and I'm also wearing a glove for extra protection. If you hear a little click or a pop or you see a spark, that's good. You know you've discharged it, but sometimes you won't see anything and get that validation. Now I'm going to explain how this whole thing works. These four cables right here lead up to four different coils. These are the vertical deflection coils and horizontal deflection coils. When the electron gun, this thing right here, shoots electrons forward, the deflection coils pull electrons to different parts of the screen that we see as individual points of light. I want to control where the electron beam goes, so I'm going to clip the cables of the deflection coils and put my own signal into them. Quick safety side note, you see I'm wearing goggles right here? That's because the electron gun is in a vacuum tube, and that vacuum tube, if it explodes, could shatter glass everywhere at a very high velocity. Now that I've clipped the cables for all four deflection coils, there are no forces pulling the electron in any direction. So, we expect one dot right in the middle of the screen. That's what we see here. If I reconnect the vertical deflection coils, then there's a force pulling the electron beam up and down again. So, we see a vertical line up and down on the screen. If I play a sine wave signal into the horizontal deflection coil, then that straight line turns into a sine wave. Now I'm going to explain how this works. Say we have two sine waves, one going into our vertical deflection coil and the other going into our horizontal deflection coil. Now. If we graph those two inputs, treating the vertical deflection coil as our y-axis and the horizontal deflection coil as our x-axis, we can start to see the shape that's going to show up on our TV screen. At time equals zero, the points are at zero, zero, right in the middle of the TV screen. Then moving forward to time equals pi over two, both points are at one. So we're going to go to one, one, top right of the TV screen. Moving forward, 0, 0 again, back to the middle of the TV screen. And then negative 1, negative 1, bottom left of the TV screen. So we should see a line going diagonal through the TV screen. All right, pumping those signals through the audio into the amplifier and then into the deflection coils. Are we going to see it? A diagonal line. Turn up the volume. And it's an oval. Hmm. The problem here is the deflection coils aren't processing the signal at the same time. So if we take one signal and slightly delay it, let's see that's 0 0.001 of a second, then we get a perfectly diagonal line. What do we have to do to make a circle? 
We can see here that the right channel, the horizontal deflection coil or the x-axis, when it's at 1, the y-axis, the vertical deflection coil, is at 0. And when x equals 0, y equals 1. When x equals negative 1, y equals 0. And when x equals 0, y equals negative 1. Put those four together and you get a circle. That looks like a tipped oval though, so we'll probably have to offset our audio again like we did with the diagonal line. Um, that still looks like an oval. Maybe that's because the signal going into one is stronger than the signal going into the other. So we'll reduce the gain of one, and that looks pretty circular. Nice. Got the wires soldered to a more permanent output, and I'm gonna reassemble the TV. Now that everything's reassembled and I got it looking nice and it's working all right, all right, I'm gonna show you what it does. So, once again, if I only play something in the left channel, I got a nice 30 hertz sine wave right here. We're gonna see that mess with the horizontal deflection coils, so all we get is a horizontal line. Now, on my computer, if I move that all the way to the right side, so it's only playing to the right ear, which is the vertical deflection coil, we're going to see a vertical line. Exactly. Now we can start messing with Lissajous curves. This is when you got one 30 hertz tone and say a 60 hertz tone. They create a 1 to 2 ratio, and that ratio makes cool patterns on the oscilloscope. I made it 60.1 so it would rotate again, and you can see it's a 1 to 2 ratio, so we see, oh, audio ended, there we go. It's a 1 to 2 ratio, so you can see two points here and two points here. Now if we move to a 1 to 3 ratio, we can expand the number of points that are showing up in this figure. So now I have 30 hertz going into one ear and 90 hertz going into the other ear, but I made it 90.1 so it rotates. And we can see 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3 with our 1 to 3 ratio. And we can keep going all the way up and up with these ratios. And every time it increases by 1, the number of points we see also increases by 1. But I don't have to do 1 to something. I can also do like 2 to 3, 3 to 4. I'll show you what that looks like. Okay, so I have 30 hertz going into one and 40 hertz going to the other. And I can't really get it dialed in, but kind of looks like a pretzel. And this is what it's supposed to look like. Here's a 2 to 3 ratio, I have it rotating just a little bit, 30 hertz into one and 45 hertz into the other. You can see it's kind of like the 1 to 3 design we saw earlier, except now we have more crisscrosses in here. It's pretty cool. There's a person on YouTube that makes really cool art slash music with an oscilloscope, and rather than seeing these random blobs, it's literally like a smiley face, a block, a Christmas tree showing up. Super cool, I think you should check out their channel. Well, to close out, I'll leave you with a song. I'm on my own, broken along. I feel the rain crashing down. All around this empty town. I'm searching for the lost and found. But you don't care, you're unaware. Keep moving like the scars aren't even there. It's in the air, like a blazing flare.